come back and having had several years out of the ring that was after the, the defeat by Tata Vossian so read on how's this script going to pan out but all dreaming of husband and dad's success and, and bringing back this title to Belfast it might just be a sort of degree of caution coming into this neither man can quite establish the, the game plan of supremacy I see McGee wants to sucker Markson into to leading off and then punishing him and when he does that and he throws the quick hands the combinations he's definitely looking good might just be if he can get him on the back foot that could be half the battle as well for Brian McGee straight left to the body Horace shouting about the heads and no one's for this just a coming together there's nothing in that midway through the fifth tight opening four rounds that look to have swung one way and t'other no one grabbing a, this fight by the scruff of the neck just yet see from Rudy Marcusin maybe just catching the eyes of the scorers better from McGee and it just caught the glove that was a terrific body shot from Brian McGee and Rudy Marcusin is on his knees the counts is six I don't think he's getting up terrific body shot he's up it's over Brian McGee wins again a phenomenal sensational stoppage in the fifth and from absolutely nowhere a rib cruncher from Brian McGee who retains his interim title absolutely magnificent stuff well, he said he was developing power along the way. He said he was a new man, and although he's wincing through the pain, Rudy Markison at least sporting enough to congratulate Brian McGee, who is the renaissance man in the super middleweight division right now. What a shot that was. I'll rewind the clock. That, that was as good as Ricky Hatton's in America. What a punch. I doubt he's thrown a better one in all of his career. Well, this is worth another look. It was coming right towards the end of the round as well. He just dipped, flicked, and the pain etched all across the face of Marguson, who tried to get up valiantly. There's absolutely no answer to a sweet punch delivered with pinpoint accuracy like that was. Now Brian McGee was calling out Kessler, Froch. You might not get those very top boys anytime soon. Just maybe the likes of Carly Baltzi could be on the cards. There's been talk, there has been talk and whispers that he's one or two fights away from something like that. And although Marcuson might not be absolutely top-notch elite level that punch was and McGee is closing back in on that sort of grade wonderful stuff 36th win in 41 fights for Brian McGee he turns 37 in June it's uh, well boxing they used to say is no country for old men but the likes of Bernard Hopkins proving that wrong Brian McGee is doing him his bit and he